we have developed a tool for measuring brain age in children. We use artificial intelligence to determine the age of the brain, not the age of the child. And then we can compare the age of the brain to the age of the child to determine if they're developing on track. There's a lot of uh, measures available where we can track their height and we can track their weight. What we don't have is a way to track their neurodevelopment or their brain health. When you're looking at children from zero to you know 16, um, it's so important to know what their brain age and their cognitive development is like. And so it's key really to a lot of what we do to ensure that they have good outcomes later in life. We spent a quite a, a long time developing measures of brain health measured from children when they're asleep using the electroencephalogram which is a measurement of your brain activity. We have a, a computer algorithm that reads in these brain waves from recorded by the EEG and it computes a brain age. Traditionally, when clinicians look at the EEG, they're predominantly looking at the waveform. But what the AI is able to do is actually able to look at the waveform at a millisecond level and really try and tease out some of these fluctuations that are occurring. Having this kind of processing means that we can use the EEG more effectively to give us more information about a child and what's going on for them. Every paediatrician that works in a clinical practice knows how to use a growth chart. We know how to look at a child's height and weight and look at where they are and, and what centile they're following. So using a similar kind of approach with brain age is really clever because it's something that's going to be quite intuitive to a clinician. So we've worked with uh, the University of Helsinki as our main international collaborator and using uh, their collaborative network and our local network here with the Queensland Children's Hospital, uh, we were able to generate this uh, growth chart. These are really unique data sets that have taken years to collect and we've ended up with nearly 2,000 children analysed in this particular uh, study alone. For me, um, to have confidence in the tools that are developed, to know that I've spoken to the people who've been developing it, there's nothing better than that. There's great potential for these methods and we, we, the amount of information we know about the brain is tiny and the more we can develop them and the more elaborate the signal processing methods and artificial intelligence methods we can apply to this problem gives us much more insight as to how the brain is functioning and how it's maturing. One of the key things in paediatrics is, is the earlier you can detect things and the earlier you can identify problems, um, the better it is because supporting when a child's brain is still developing and putting resources in place at that time will actually be the thing that will make a difference. Mm -hmm.